I don't want to be on camera. Back Stand here. back there. If you go up there, you're going to get arrested. For what? I'm sorry, you're saying that I can't go upstairs? I can't let you wander the building for security. You're old and stupid. No. You should be able to walk into a public building and take stop, pictures. Stop for one minute. No. Are you going you to get signed, signed verification from every single person here? I don't want to be on camera. What's your and name, sir? This is my fourth request. What's your name, sir? My name? Um, this is a my ID, too. So. So Absolutely. Not, sir. Yeah. Stand back there. I want you to stand back. Stand back there. there. Excuse me. Don't touch stand, me. Stand Get back your there. hands stand off. Back Get your hands off stand of me. Here. Get your hands off of me. What sure. are you doing? Stop it. Come here, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Let go of me. Right. Stop come it. Come Stop it. Come here. Let go of me. I want to... Let go of me. Let go of me. Call my media supervisor. Yeah. They're tied up at the moment. So they're not going to come over, but you take the card that uh, the lieutenant from Internal Affairs gave mm -hmm. you. Can call him and uh, if you have any problems with well, me. I'd like to just get you in better light, actually. There you go. That's much better. I want to definitely make sure that we get a good picture of you for the thumbnail. Oh, you and Officer White. That's a good one. So just use the card and call and set up the point. I absolutely will do that. All right. Um, all right. So I'm going to grab that and let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and head up, finish this thing. Uh, 20th floor, 21st floor. I'm going to go ahead and bring my. Oh. Sir, you're, 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 you're not allowed on the 21st floor. Those are definitely by appointment only. The 21st floor? 21st floor, yes. That is Interesting. All right. So 21st floor is restricted. Um, Sheila failed to yeah, mention that. Make an, unless you make an appointment. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Then they'll see you, okay? Uh, that's the 21st I thought it was the 22nd floor. That's the mayor. That's 22nd. 22nd floor. So the 21st is okay, right? City council floor. Okay. So is, is the 21st floor forbidden too? Because Sheila didn't mention that one. Uh, I'm mentioning it for you right now. Gotcha. All right. So Officer Daniels is claiming that the 21st floor of this building is not accessible to the press. Gotcha, gotcha. So just the 21st and 22nd, but not the 20th, right? The 20th is not uh, not uh, by appointment only? There you go. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to finish this tour. I'm going to hit the 20th floor. I'm going to go ahead and bring my lap dogs along. I've actually house trained these two. House trained these two. They don't, they're not on a leash or anything like that. They just follow me along. If I tell them to stop, they stop. See? Come I'm sorry. I'm not gonna stand here and be insulted by you. Go up there and handle your business. Well, the beauty of it is, is okay. that I'm in public and and well, you're the one that's following me. Hey, like I said, I'm not gonna be insulted by you. Is, you is that a, and do your is that a, is that a crime? Or I'm gonna put you out of here. Are you? Yes. Really? Yes. For for what now exactly? Come on. Wait, what, what's the thing. crime? I'm sorry. What's the crime, Officer Daniels? You're a, you're a little thin-skinned, aren't you? No. No. We're, 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 yeah. The reason they're asking us if we're following us because they're gonna call us anyway. When you were in the sure, yeah. We're just doing our jobs too, yeah. just like you are. So. All right. All right. Well, some of us are doing our jobs better than others. Officer Daniels thinks that he can throw somebody out of a public building because they insult him. Got the You're a police officer, sir. Got I, the I think you'd sir. know better. Got the I, I don't like that elevator. I'm going to get a different one. You go ahead. Do you have the orange phone? Yes, I do. Yeah. Officer Daniels seems to think that he can throw somebody out of a public building because they insult him. How many times have you been insulted in your job over the years, Officer Daniels? Are you under the impression you can violate somebody's rights? Look at this bag sits here. You can violate somebody's rights if they insult you? I mean, you got to be used to that, right? People insult you all the time as a police officer. I have no doubt, no doubt you get insulted a lot. So it's just shocking to me that you think you can violate my rights. I'm sorry, with all due respect, sir, I'm not getting on the same elevator with a man who just said, if I insult him, he can throw me out of the, the building. So either you can go with me, I'm not getting in the elevator with you, sir. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. So if you're getting on this elevator, I'm, I'm not. Going up with you. You got All right. So you're, you're, you're getting in the elevator with him or you're not? Stacey, so you want to take the elevator here and go upstairs and I'll meet you up there? 20th floor. I'll meet you up on the 20th floor. And I'll get another person that can go with me. There you go. I'll, see, I'll go up with her. I just don't want, I don't want to be in the elevator with you. I don't want to be in a small box with you, sir, because I don't trust you. And you think you can violate my rights and throw me out of a building because I insult you? Tough luck. You're a cop. You've been called a lot worse things than a lapdog. I know you have. 
So don't tell me you can throw me out of a public building because I call you a lap dog because you're following me around everywhere. Seriously, with a straight face, you tell me you're going to throw me out of a building because I insult you. Maybe I'll hit the 20th floor, come back down here and insult you some more and see if you throw me out of a public building. You need thicker skin, my friend. Thicker skin. Now, if he's getting on the elevator, I'm not. Is that what we're going to do? We're going to play this little game here? He has to get the man that's, throw, that's threatening to throw me out of a building because I insulted him? Not with this man in the box. I'm not getting in this, in this box with there. this man. You got to. No, and neither do you. Are you getting on this elevator? I got to go. Go ahead. Go up the 20th floor. Yeah, maybe I'll just get a super, uh, somebody else over here. Uh, actually, this time, I would like a supervisor here. If I'm asking to go up on another floor and you have to get on the box with me after you just threatened to throw me out of the building for insulting you. So, all right, all right, let's, let's wait another. Hey, Greg, I hate to bother you with this. I've got a cop over here who's trying to violate my rights. He, he's claiming he's going to throw me out of the building if I insult him. Um, which which he can't do legally. I can call him uh, all sorts of names that I wanted to. He can't throw me out of a public building because I insulted him. I want to go up the 20th floor. This cop that is this close to trying to throw me out of a building for exercising my constitutional rights is, seems to be insistent to get on the elevator with me. I do not trust that man as far as I could throw him. So I am asking as a taxpaying citizen, if you or a member of your staff would be willing to go up to the 20th floor with me in this elevator, because I do not trust this police officer back here. Um, I or, or we can get a, a, a police supervisor. I don't trust this man. This, this man is itching to violate my rights. And I think he's itching to do a lot more than that. I don't trust him, and I'm not getting a small box of that man. So I'll be waiting right over here. I'm just waiting for a, uh, some sort of a supervisor, because I'm not getting in that box with you, my friend. Let's see, you don't need a signing up in your city council chamber. Oh. Yeah, you know, cover page of the original printed charter of the city of Toledo. That's kind of cool. What do we find out, Greg? What, what happens? What, what do you do when you have a citizen come in here that says they don't, they don't feel safe and they're asking for a uh, escort up to the 20th floor? Making sure that it's okay with my boss for me to escort. Them gotcha, gotcha. I just, I don't, have I just don't trust Officer Daniels. I, quite frankly, between you and me, I think Officer Daniels is a complete piece of shit. Uh, I, he's trying to violate my rights, and I won't stand for it. I do this for a living. Clearly, he violates people's rights for a living. He's not going to violate mine today. Hey, Daniels, I just, I just insulted you again. Do I need to do it to your face to get tossed out of the building, or can I do it behind your back? If you want to come closer, I'd be happy to tell you what I told him you were. Police officer that thinks he can eject somebody from a public building because they insult him. Scumbag. Understandable, understandable. I just, uh, I don't trust this man. Don't trust him. Trust him as far as I could throw him. By the way, folks, there's our friendly reminder. They're always watching us. It just seems to be a problem when we watch them. Camera. Yeah, sir. So why if I summon an elevator? Are you gonna stop me from getting on an elevator? Are you gonna, are you gonna prevent my elevator, elevator from going upstairs?
What's that? Well, I got no problem with you. I got no problem with you going on with me. I don't trust Officer Daniels. He's fine. He's not going to hurt nobody. You know I know I don't know that. Officer Daniels just threatened to eject me from the building if I insulted him. How many? You know full well if I came in here and called you an effing pig, you can't throw me out of a public building for that. Well, you know full well. That's what, that's what he's oh, if, he's, if he's getting on, I'm getting off. We'll be here all day. I got no problem with that, Daniels. Again, I'd like to have your supervisor here. I don't trust you, and you are itching to throw me out of this building for insulting you? Really? Bless your little heart. And you think that's grounds to eject somebody from a public building, huh? Yeah. I'd keep my mouth shut, too, if I was you. You've already put your foot in your mouth more than once. Well, let's, let's hop on. If Officer Daniels gets on, then we'll get off. Go on. Here, let's go. Go on, Stacey. Go on. Hop in. Wait. Excuse me. Yeah. We'll, we'll play this game all day long. I think you'd have better things to do as a police officer than prevent someone from going up to a floor that they have every right to be on. You coming in, Officer Daniels? You coming in? I'm, I'm getting out. What's what she doing? Stacey, hop in here. Let's see if Officer Daniels insists on getting the elevator. Because I think Officer Daniels is chomping at the bit to assault me. I know he's chomping at the bit to violate my rights. Stacey, come on in. Come on in. Let's see if Officer Daniels gets in. Officer White, are you coming in? I got no problem with Officer White coming in. Oh, Officer Daniels. There you go. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hop off then, sir. Officer Daniels wants to get on. Stacey, come on out. We can play this game all day long. Are you waiting for supervisor? No, I'm not waiting for a supervisor. I'm waiting for Officer Daniels to get a friggin' life. We are? Who's, who's we disrupt? Who's we disrupting? This group, there's four of us sitting here following you around. Then don't follow me around. We're required to. Dude, this is what you don't you're not, you're you not required. Can you, want, you want me to answer? Please. We're working here. This is our assignment. We're not on the street. Do you always follow people that come to the building or just those with cameras? When they ask it, no. no not even people sometimes with cameras. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you've been right, she's asked us to keep staying. Well, but I've been, I've been irate. I've been irate because you guys are trying to prevent me from going into publicly accessible areas. You can't, we never once tried to prevent Old Shayla was, was rattling off this big list of floors I can't even go to. You can't go here, you can't go there. Officer Daniels thinks he can throw me out of the building for, for calling, for example, I called him a pig. If I said, you're a worthless pig, he thinks he could throw me out of the building for that. Did they not teach you in, in like, I mean, police academy. How long ago did you go to police academy? Surely you must have been taught in police academy that you can't violate somebody's rights simply because they think you're a scumbag. You can't do that. If they call you a scumbag, you can't do that. So what the hell are you thinking, Daniels? Seriously, what are you thinking? No response? Yeah, again. If I was you, I'd probably keep my mouth shut too because God knows you've already put your foot in your mouth. Tens of thousands of people are going to see you in your tyrannical ways here, Chief. So, yeah, if I can't get in the elevator without this man, um, please, again, I'm requesting a supervisor. Please request a supervisor. I believe you are trying to violate my rights, sir. You are chomping at the bit to throw me out of this building for nothing. And uh, I, I, I don't trust you. I don't want to get in a box with you, sir. So, no supervisor. All right, I hate to do it. Stacy, go ahead and use your phone, call the non-emergency number for the police department and say that we have two officers here that are refusing to, uh, well, one of them wants to throw me out of the building because I referred to him. What did I call him exactly? What did I say? Oh, lap dog. Yeah, that's right, lap dog. Yep, I got my lap dog here and that, that, that was enough for him to, to think he could eject me from the public building. So. Call the non-emergency number for the police department in Toledo and say that we're at where we're at and say that we're just trying to move un unaccosted in this building and we've asked for a supervisor multiple times and they are saying there isn't one available. We'll get one here. What'd they say? It says direct supervisor. Okay, I, I, it doesn't need to be a direct supervisor. I, I, I'll, I'll be happy with any supervisor at this point. I just don't trust you, sir. I did call a supervisor. All right. All right. There you go. We don't call 911 for for non-emergencies, but yeah, it would be a non it'd be a non-emergency number. I assure you, we don't call we don't call emergency numbers for non-emergencies. All right. Yeah. 
You don't want to be helpful to him, White. No, we'll leave him to his own devices. He doesn't need to be helpful. If you can carry it, I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. Right. Disturbance. Causing a disturbance. That sounds like a crime. Yeah. Wow. Fascinating to see a constitutionally protected activity turned into a crime. Interesting. I, I do not disagree with that people's civil rights are violated all the time by people like uh, Officer uh, Daniels here. I don't doubt that at all. But yeah, walking through a public building with a camera and video recording what you're doing, it's not a crime. Not a crime. And when somebody comes up to me and tries to prevent me from doing that and I raise my voice a little bit at them, that again it is not a crime. It's not a crime. Referring to a police officer as your lap dog, not a crime. Not a crime. Officer Daniels wishes it was a crime. Ooh, you want to violate my rights so bad, don't you, Daniels? Oh, chomping at the bit. Good news, I shook my tail. Thought I'd let you know. They were unsuccessful in violating my rights. I just want to pop that up and let you know that. There you go. Understand our rights, sir, and please don't try to violate them again, okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't think you do. I don't think you do, Chief. Don't think you do. White, I tell you, if it's your job to follow me around, you guys are doing a terrible job because I just went in the elevator over here and went up a whole bunch of floors. So is it just the 20th floor you guys are trying to prevent me from going into unsupervised? Yeah, I didn't want to go to the 21st or 22nd, and I can't make myself clear enough on that. I have no intention of going to the 21st and 22nd floor. If the security down in front is telling me those are prohibited floors, I got no problem with that. But I want to go on the 20th floor without officer, uh, I want to eject you from the building for calling me a lap dog tries to violate my rights and throw me out of here. Yeah, well, and, yeah, that's debatable. I mean, you know, at, at a certain point, it gets to the point where it's, it's, it's stalking. Is it not stalking? Do you guys have stalking laws in Toledo? Because it seems to me that somebody following you around in a public building from floor to floor. What's his name? Oh, I can't go in here now? Wait a minute, hold up. Oh, please. Are you preventing me from going in there? I'm sorry? Wait a minute, wait a minute. step out the way, step out. Yeah, I think I was here before them. Yeah, so, what are you saying, I can't go in that room now? The room that I was just in five minutes ago? You can't, you're saying I can't go in there now? And you say you're waiting for somebody to come down and talk to you? No, I'm, I'm, I didn't say I'm waiting for somebody to come down and talk to you. I want to go in this room, sir. Are you preventing me from going in that room? You are in this room? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going in that room, sir. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Is this a joke? I mean, you are, but is this a joke? Okay, help me understand why. Yeah, oh, you turned that. Yeah, you might want to keep that on, Chief. You want to explain hey, to me why I can't go in that in that uh, in that room? Now I can't go in this room. Love to hear your rationale for this. Why can't I not go into that room, Officer Daniels? I'm talking to my partner, you can just get out of my face. Here. Um, okay, Officer White, 
Officer White, why can't, he told me to talk to you. He's the one preventing me from going in there, but why can I not go into this, this room here? City Council Chambers, they allow cameras in there all the time. There's not a city, is there a city council meeting going on right in here? Well, okay, so Officer White, why can I not go in this room then? You said you can't get in there. Oh, so, but he's not, he won't answer why though. There's no, there's no logical reason why I can't go in this room. Why can I not go in this room, Officer Daniels? They're the one that's trying to prevent me. You're, you're not going to go in there. No. I'm not going to do what? You're not going in there. Why? Well, I, I made a decision. You're not going to go in there. Okay. Right. So yeah, Stacy, Stacy, definitely call the police. Call the police and tell them there's an officer that's trying to prevent me from going into a public, public uh, room here. Stacy, it's okay. Take a break, call the police, and tell them I'm in the Michael Defendant Government Center trying to go into a public room, and there's a police officer that's preventing me from doing so. I'm sorry. Yeah, do that, Dennis? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. In fact, there's other members of the press that are in that room as we speak. We actually have one of their business cards. So you're letting in certain members of the press, but not all of them. Is that right, Officer Daniels? He's digging that hole deeper, aren't you? This is why they call it Holy Toledo, because you got cops digging so many holes. Unbelievable. I have said it before and I will say it again, folks. This is a really good time to subscribe so that we can put tyrannical behavior like this out of business. There are currently members of the press in this room right here and Officer Daniels is just trying to prevent us from going into the same room where there are currently active members of the press in that room. Is there a particular policy or code that you can refer to, Officer Daniels, that would give you the right to exclude me from that room? No? See? Look at that. So he's not even trying to make excuses for his abysmal behavior. Not even trying to make excuses for it. Notice how he just shuts his mouth and doesn't say anything? Hey, you know, Officer Daniels, you're not going to tell me why you're trying to prevent me and what legal reason you have to prevent me from going into the council chambers. It's just because you feel like it. Is that right? No legal reason whatsoever. You trying to get your city sued, sir? Keeping the press out of the city council chambers? You think that's going to increase or decrease the chances of your city getting sued? We're going to pull your records and find out how many complaints you have, sir. I have a feeling you are grossly overpaid. We'll find out how much you're paid as well. shot right there. There you go. Great shot. Great shot. Stick around, kids. We need to get your rights violated. Yep. Call the cops. Tell them we got a cop down here violating my rights, preventing me from going into council chambers. The room that I was just in 10 minutes ago taking pictures, I am now not allowed to enter per Officer Daniels. <sighs> Officer White, is this your job too? You're, so you're not supposed to just follow me around. You're supposed to prevent me from going into random rooms that this Officer Daniels just picks out of the hat. Like 10 minutes ago, I was fine going to that room, but now I can't. Is that part of your job as well, Officer White? 
Oh, is he, is he your boss? You follow his orders? He's a senior officer. There you go, a senior officer. That's frightening, frightening. You know what the Nazis said about just following orders? I have a feeling, Officer White, that if it was just you, you wouldn't try to prevent a member of the press from walking in that room. Officer Daniels does, though. Let's get Officer Daniels some exercise. Now we can go to the 20th floor without a fucking babysitter. Excuse me. Who's it who's use other side? City income tax. I was hoping they had some art in here, not so much. Not so much. Your walls are barren. I'm taking pictures of uh, of all the art in the building. You guys got squat in here. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> That's, it's okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. So now we go to the police station. Now that we, uh, we shook our lap dog and we're able to go to the 20th floor because he wasn't doing his job and went up to the 20th floor without him, we're gonna go over to the police station now and file a complaint against Officer Daniels, get a copy of his annual salary, get a copy of all of his formal complaints and file another complaint against him. When I say another complaint, I am absolutely certain that Officer Daniels has multiple complaints filed against him over the years. He's about to get another one for preventing me from walking into that building. Is it because I have a camera, Officer Daniels, or is it just because you don't like me? Huh? I'm curious. Hey, Stacy, why don't you see if you can go in here, if he's preventing you from going in here too, or if it's just me. Or come over here and hold the camera and let me go in there. Let's have a little fun. We're gonna do a little experiment because you're gonna say it's a camera. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cameras off, and I'm gonna go in there, Officer Daniels. You're not going in there. You're not going in there. Yeah. I keep going there. Why? You do, you do what you have to do. I'm trying to go under a, a, a public. I'm trying to go under the city council chambers. I have every right to go in. There are members of the press in there right now. You are standing in my way, sir. You are violating my rights. Why can't I go in there? Then get out of my way. So I can't go in there, but you don't give a reason why. Stacy, you want to go in there? Are you going to prevent her from going in there too? Yeah, they don't want to be Okay. All right. I'm just trying to walk into a public access building. I'm never going to go in there. I'm going to go in You're going to prevent her from going Step back over there. Step back over there. I can hear you. I have no doubt. Well, step, well, step back over there. I'm doing it. Mr. Dunn. Yeah, Did we get the police on the way up here? Um, he didn't have the number and my phone won't work. Hey, Greg, we need to have the police officer. This time, Mr. Randy, you can go ahead and 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 go Man is for me. Can somebody please call the police? Sir, can you do
So you have to get a hold of the cops then? I can't get my phone number and yours isn't connected to the ambulance. Clearly my lap dog needs more training. Uh, he's been a bad dog, bad, bad dog. Um, at this point, I'm not even sure that he's house trained. So I don't, I don't know what to do. We need to lay down some, some pee pads here and what have you. Um, because at this point, I can't even get this lap dog to let me into a public room in a public building, even without my cameras. So it's not the camera that he has a problem with. It's just me. And Officer Daniels is going to get a big complaint and probably a lawsuit. Lighting's, lighting's terrible that direction. I want to make sure people can see exactly who you are. Throw somebody out of a building for insulting him. Hilarious. I almost wish you would. Would you stand back there? Stand no, back there. I'm, I'm perfectly fine stand right here. Stand back there. Or what? Are you going to arrest me if I don't stand Would you back stand there? Stand back there. To do I want you to there. stand back there. Stand back there. I want you to stand back stand there. Stand back there. Excuse me. Don't touch stand, me. Stand Get, back your there. Stand off. Back there. Get your hands stand off. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. What sure. are you doing? Stop it. Come here, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Let go of me. All right. Stop it. Right. Stop it. Come here. Let go of me. I want you to... Let go of me. Let go of me. I want you to stand back here. I know. Let go of me. I want you to stand back here. You are violating my rights. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. Uh, she's called Brian, our supervisor. Get your hands off. I have every right uh, to stand over no, there. No, you're going to stand back there. They're doing a meeting in there. You understand? Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. All right, of you me. understand what I told you? I understood exactly All right, what I'm going to take my hands off, but you stand If you go up there, you're going to get arrested. For what? Because they're holding the meeting in there. You're too I'm, loud. So if they're holding the meeting in there, I can't stand over here. No, you stand back here. Right. Okay. While okay. you're filming all your talking okay. right back there. All right, all right. Officer Daniels. Oh, can I sit over here in this area? Officer Daniels, can I sit over here? Unbelievable. You got some nerve, Chief. You got some nerve, buddy. You're gonna be the star of the show, Daniels. Star of the show. Good Lord. Need I remind you folks again to subscribe, like, and share so that we can put an end to tyrannical behavior like that of Mr. Uh, Officer Daniels. Officer Daniels was chomping at the bit to have me arrested. He was going to call it public disturbance. Greg, I'm curious if you guys ever have a rogue cop like this before where he just decides he can pick and choose who can go into city council chambers. I mean, I've seen people arrested for causing a disruption in city council causing a, oh yeah that's understandable causing a disruption but like just me walking in there not causing a disruption i shouldn't be prevented from going in there this is bizarre with or without cameras doesn't matter i can't he's he, officer daniels is you saw what has happened over here i don't know i actually have explicit orders not to interfere uh -huh. with any interaction between yeah. tpd and uh, well when when this story goes to air you may be the only professional that is seen in the video. Uh, my personal opinion, when somebody comes in here and he says to security or, you know, the security personnel, can you please call the police? My rights are being violated over here by this man. I am of the opinion that you guys should definitely call the police. In fact, I think it's a law if somebody says, can you please call the police, that, that you need to actually do that. We're not allowed to interfere with the police. We can't interfere with them. Yeah, and you're not interfering with anybody. I asked you to call the police and you flatly refused to. We're just not allowed to interfere at all with the police. So if somebody comes to you and says, can you call the police, you, you won't do it. I can't do anything because my, my hands are actually tied on this. Gotcha. You can't, you're not allowed to call the police. Good to know. Oh, you missed it. Officer Daniels over here put his hands on me. Put his hands on me and forced me over here and told me I can't stand over there. I have to stand over here. Physically grabbed me and personally shoved me over here to this spot here. Are the police on their way here? Did you get a hold of them? 
What's that? Officer Daniels, can I stand here? Is it okay here? Where? Where's magic? No, no stand area. I don't want to. I don't want to get arrested, Officer Dan. Yeah, why don't you keep your camera on? I'm not surprised at all. You turn your camera on and off whenever you please. I'm going to get all that footage. I'm asking you a direct question, Officer Daniels. Where can I stand in this area? I'm out, like, am I okay here? If I, do I need to stay on the carpet? If I slip like right there, I'm going to get arrested. I mean, where's the line, Officer Daniels? Oh, away from the door. Okay, so like right here is fine. I can stand right here. There you go. Can I stand right there? Can I stand right there? Can I stand where I was standing when you put your hands on me and moved me over here? You're a fucking scumbag. You know that? You're going to arrest me for calling you names? You're unbelievable. Unbelievable. Violating people's rights. So I'm like, oh, you got to come at me and get my right to get me again? Unbelievable. Let's go to the police station and file a complaint. I'll see you again real soon, as will God knows how many people on the internet. You made a fool of yourself today, sir. Let's go file that complaint. I've got a uniformed police officer that's refusing to allow me, cameras or no cameras, into the city council room in there. It's, it's, there's other members of the press that are in there. He's refusing to let me in, with or without cameras. I would like an officer to go over there and like, you know, escort me into a building that, in a room that I have every right to be in. Um, but I also want that man's body cam footage and uh, file a complaint against him. Body the body cam footage, I need to get his you know body cam. Officer, officer Daniels. From over there, if there is I believe it was B. Daniels and uh, black fellow. He's just, it's, he's just making it personal at this point because uh, I'm not following his, his blatantly <laughs> unlawful, unlawful law rules. Yeah, he put his hands on me and, and it was it was ridiculous. Uh, I've got the whole thing on camera. It's an outrage. But I so I, I would like to get his body cam footage, and I also want to file a complaint. Number for internal affairs? I do indeed. Are they the ones who would take the complaint about him? Okay, who would handle the body cam footage request? You know. I believe you can do that through them as well. All right, I'll give him a call then. What was your name? Officer Bainey. Bainey. Yep. All right. Well, okay. So that takes care of that then. Is who there is there? Somebody that's available that can that can. Escort me to the government center building across the way over here. Where I can walk into a public room that a dozen, two dozen people are in as we speak, including other members of the press. It's not a closed meeting like that. I should be able to walk in there. So it's just, it's crazy. There's no one here who can escort you over there. Uh -huh. I'm obviously, I'm at the desk, so I can't go over yep. there. Um, I can't say as to what happened with that officer, but if he's not letting you in to a meeting where other media is, there's, there's a reason. Well, I'm he, not sure what uh, the is. reason is, is he's biased and he's picking on me personally. He's letting anybody in, just not me, with or without cameras. That's, yeah, I'm not sure. Do you no. know, happen to know which supervisor we would speak to? That would be all through internal affairs. Just all through internal affairs? Yep. Okay. All right, let's go file a complaint with internal affairs then. Quick question. He's not permitted inside, but am I permitted inside? Yeah? With, the, with this? I'm permitted in. Officer Daniels, have you changed your mind about me? Can I go in there now? Are you still going to violate my rights? May I go in there, Officer Daniels? That's a pretty straightforward question. You're not going to answer the question now? So, I, I don't know where I stand on this. I mean, you just let my partner go in there. I'm asking you a direct, straightforward yes or no question. May I go into the, uh, in the room that my partner just went into? Officer White, is this really the example you're taking? This is your supervisor? Okay, well, I'll ask you then. Officer White, am I allowed to go in that room that Officer Daniels tried to keep me out of now? But he's not answering my question, sir. So if he doesn't answer the question, I don't know. He just let my partner in, which tells me if he has no problem with her, he should have no problem with me. How am I disorderly? And if I'm disorderly, if I'm being disorderly, why haven't I been arrested yet? 
I mean, come on, we arrest people for disorderly conduct all the time. If, if this falls under the category of disorderly conduct, why haven't you arrested me already? I mean, I feel like I'm being pretty respectful. I mean, I'm not. So, so, so he has the right to do it or not do it. He has the right to deny access to public. He has the right to make a choose, choose whether or not he wants to arrest you. Or he chose not to. Oh, bless his heart. I should count my blessings that he hasn't violated any rights. There you go. There you go, folks. Officer Daniels reserves the right to choose whether or not he arrests me or not. Now I'm being told that I'm being told by Officer White that I'm not allowed in that in, in the chambers there, but Stacy is allowed in there because she hasn't been uh, disorderly or whatever. Now he hasn't arrested me for disorderly conduct because he's just a really nice guy. And, and that's it, that's the only reason. Otherwise, I'd be in handcuffs right now. I mean, God knows he wants to arrest me. I'm surprised that he hasn't. He, I, clearly, this is a man that's violated people's rights countless times. So, what's one more time, right? I'm actually on hold with uh, Internal Affairs, who conveniently are right here in this building. And they asked when the incident happened. I told them it's ongoing. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. No. Yeah. Okay. So it's ongoing. Um, as you folks can... Yes, sir. It should be noted that I have called uh, Internal Affairs. They are in this building. And it'll be interesting to see how long it takes for them to come down here and respond to an officer currently actively violating my rights. So I've got my Star Wars shirt on today, and uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I, I, I dare say I'm a lifelong Star Wars fan, but uh, the truth of the matter is, I was not a Star Wars fan for the first nine years of my life. And then something happened. Star Wars came out. So, uh, yeah, I've been a Star Wars and Star Trek fan my entire life. Here's a uh, debate you can put in the comments now that I'm no longer wearing flip-flops and you guys can't complain about my shoes. Uh, let's have a little discussion about which is better, Star Wars or Star Trek? I have a personal opinion. I'd like to hear yours. So this is, 
I have no idea what this is. Oh, Lucas County Auditor. Auditor. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of the TV show MASH. It ran for 11 seasons, and during those 11 seasons, Corporal Klinger talked about a place called Tony Paco's. Hey, incidentally, if you're ever in Toledo, Ohio, on a Hungarian side of town, Tony Paco's, greatest Hungarian hot dogs with chili peppers, 35 cents, and a cold beer. It's right over there. Tony Paco's was Corporal Klinger's favorite restaurant in Toledo, Ohio. We're gonna pop in here and pay him a little visit and see what the, see what the place is all about. Come on. One is everywhere. He's got one here. Oh, oh wait. Oh, we got. Oh, check this out. Bing Crosby. Oh, you gonna be taking the Rudy Giuliani one down when he goes to prison or no? No, we're biased. All right. Good yeah, for you. Yeah, you shouldn't. You here. know what? Guy goes to prison. It's still Rudy Giuliani, right? Uh, I mean, he does have to be. There you go. Gotta be biased. Jamie Farr, Glenn Beck, George Bush. Yeah. All right. Oh. Vice President Mike Pence, you got the uh, oh, you got Davy Jones. There you go. You got Davy Jones there. Here's a Burt Reynolds, Bob Hope, Jamie Farr is all over the place. Bill Bixby, Incredible Hulk, uh, Stephanie Zimbalist. Nancy Reagan, there you go. What else have we got in here? Dan Quayle. Lisa Marie Presley, may she rest in peace. Tiny Tim, saw him in concert once. Ron Howard, Mickey Rooney. Oh. Megan the cartoonist, don't know who that is. Marvin Hamlish, Soupy Sales, Tony Randall. Holy cow. Let's see who else we got. Lee Iacocca, Robin Leach. Very cool. Who's this? David Copperfield. He made some food disappear while he was here. All right. Lane Stevenson, Alan Alda, Loretta Swit, Harry Morgan, Bill Christopher, David Ogno. Oh, look at that. Looks like all the MASH guys here. Jamie Farr's has got another one there. Look at that. Bunch of the MASH folks. Charles Keating, Amy Grant, Frankie Avalon. Holy cow. There is no end to the awesomeness of some of these autographs. Fifth dimension. Oh, look at that. I uh, got the monkeys on here. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Ario Speedwagon. Kenny Loggins. You got Kiss. My friend Carl Clark would love this. Look at that. All right. Bill Clinton. Indigo Girls. Another Jerry Lewis. 